This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we are going to go over how to customize your scanning options. There are plenty of occasions where slowing down or speeding up your scan can help you receive better detailed outputs from Nmap or Network Mapper. For example, if you're on a really, really slow connection, you may want to slow down your scan to give you more accurate results. Now there are several, several options that you can add to your command to make this happen. So let's go ahead and go through some of the really important ones. So first off, I should probably mention how Nmap looks at times. It automatically puts time into a millisecond format. So for example, if you type 100, 100, that would be 100 milliseconds. Pretty quick. Now if you type 100S with an S after it, that would be 100 seconds. Or if you typed 1M, that would be one minute. And you could also do 1H, and that would be one hour. So 1,000 milliseconds, obviously, that's going to be one second because there are 1,000 milliseconds in one second. So if my command ended up including 1,000, I could also type 1S instead, and it would also give me the same output. There are also timing templates that you can add to Nmap commands. If I, example, typed my command as Nmap, and then I put TAC, capital T, zero, and then my target, so I'll do the same target I usually do, hit enter, and this is going to force Nmap to go very, very slowly. You see it's taking forever. So as you can see, I went ahead and canceled the T0 scan because it goes so incredibly slow. Now I can also alternatively add up to dash T5, which will make it go extremely fast like you just see here. Now Nmap will send out a scan with several parallel port scans at one time, and this is pretty normal for it. You can control this though with the max parallelism, parallelism or minimum parallelism option. Now for example, if I typed in Nmap and then dash dash max dash parallel, how do you spell that? Lism dash space four, and then whatever your target is, and press enter. The maximum number of ports that Nmap will scan at any given time will only be four. So it won't go any higher than that. Alternatively, if you wanted to use the minimum parallelism 100, that will tell Nmap to scan no less than 100 ports at the same time, which actually may result in less accuracy. Now I'll be right back after a break with so many more timing options. We're going to have plenty of fun in just a moment. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive, and of course, it types like a keyboard. It can type scripts into a computer crazy, crazy fast, like this week's favorite from Crack Ruckles, or Crackruckles, that can attack a Windows machine at the logon screen and gain access to the CMD of the command prompt with admin privileges. Now, of course, we couldn't do the show without you, so we'd like to thank you with something special. You can use the coupon code snubs with any order for your very own signed hack tip sticker. Thank you so much for supporting the show. We're back with more timing options. So let's move on to host group sizes. These commands will tell Nmap how many hosts to scan at the same time on a network. So for example, if I typed Nmap and then tac tac min tac host group, and I'll choose how many I want to scan, 10.73.31.1 slash tuple. And I press enter. So when this runs, it would scan a minimum of 10 hosts at a time, which can absolutely speed up your scan. You can also use max host group 10, and then the same target to set the maximum number of hosts to scan. And this might slow down the target. So alternatively, either or will work for you depending on what your problems are. Now here's another fun one. Use this command to change the RTT timeout value, which basically is the default round, round trip time in milliseconds before Nmap has a timeout. If you want to do this, you use the command Nmap tac tac initial RTT dash timeout. If I spell it right, 6,000. So remember that's in milliseconds. And then whoever your target is. 
and it finishes. Now remember, six would be six seconds or 6,000 milliseconds. You can also set the max RTT timeout with dash dash max dash RTT dash timeout and then put whatever, whatever your timeout would be. So the default in Nmap is an RTT timeout at 10 seconds, which you can set lower to make it a faster scan or you can set it higher to give, keep Nmap from giving up on a scan. Now lastly is the maximum retries that Nmap will try before it gives up. This one's pretty important, especially if you're running on a really, really slow connection. So you can use the command Nmap, couple dashes, max retries. And I'll tell it to retry three times before giving up and your target. So obviously this one, this target was able to figure it out, it, able to give me some kind of output after one try. But if I was on a slow connection, a map would try again and again, three times in a row, until it absolutely gave up. Now that's about it for today. We know that we have plenty of timing options available, so we're going to cover the rest of them next week. Of course, if you like this or if you want to comment, make sure to comment below or you can email us tips at hack 5 Org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist. Bye! Let's sing, let's sing happy birthday to Hack Tip. It is Hack Tips episode 100, so we're going to sing happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hack Tip. You're 100. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs>